Hi class. By the end of our lesson today in math, you are going to be able to read, analyze, and interpret a picture graph. Okay, so that means today we're going to focus on a picture graph. A picture graph uses a picture or a symbol um, to graph its data that you have received. Um, and it also uses a key to show what each picture or symbol stands for, okay? So the key shows what each picture or symbol stands for. And let me show you what I mean by that. So here we see our picture graph. And on here I'm gonna see, I used ice cream cones for my pictures or my symbols. Down here we see the key, and this says one ice cream cone equals one person. So what we did for this one is we went out and took a survey and people filled that in about, well, we'll use our labels to know what that survey was about. It was about, looks like it's about ice cream because we have chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, and cookie, cr cookies and cream. What this picture graph does not have is a title. What would be a good title for this picture graph? Right, favorite types of ice cream, fa favorite flavors of ice cream more specifically. So to interpret this graph, to read this graph, I need to make sure I understand the key, that I need to understand that one ice cream cone equals one person. So if I ask you how many people chose chocolate as their favorite ice cream, we would count by one. One, two, three, four, five. If I ask how many people chose strawberry as their favorite, again, we would, the key says one ice cream cone equals one person, so I'm going to count by, going to count by one, two, three. Now, our key does not always have to equal a one. It doesn't always have to represent only one. It can re represent more than one. For example, here, our key says that one ice cream cone is equal to five people. So if I were to go back and count how many people chose chocolate, what will I count by? Correct, we'll count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25 people chose chocolate. How many people chose strawberry? Well, again, the key says one ice cream cone equals five people, so we're gonna count by five. Five, 10, 15. I can also even have my key says an one ice cream cone equals 10 people. So when I try to figure out how many people chose chocolate, what am I gonna talk, count by? Yes, 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. How many people chose strawberry? We're gonna count by 10 again, because that's what my key says. We're gonna count 10, 20, 30. My key might even say one ice cream cone equals two people. What will I count by for that? Correct, we'll count by two. When I, but no matter what, I can still interpret and answer questions about my graph. I just have to make sure I understand the key in order to interpret it, okay? Because if I don't pay attention to that key, I'm going to misinterpret the graph and all of my answers will be incorrect. So let's go back here to, one ice cream cone equals one person. And answer some questions regarding that. How many types of ice cream are there? One, there's four types. Remember when we said, look at those labels? Yeah, our labels, there's four of them. So there's four types of ice cream. How many people like vanilla? Look at your key. It says one ice cream cone equals one person. So I'm gonna count by one. And we're gonna say one, Two, good job. Which type has the most? Yep, right, get it in your head as if you're writing it down on your whiteboard and reveal, shout it out. Chocolate, which one has the least? Write it on your whiteboard or picture it in your head, shout it out, reveal. Vanilla, how many people were asked about their favorite type of ice cream. Hmm, how would I figure that out? 
think about it. Any ideas how we would figure out how many people were asked? That's right, we would have to count, and I'm pointing, you would have to count all of the ice cream cones on the page, not the, excluding the key, but all the ones up here in my picture graph and what I would count. And that would become nine, 14 people. How many more people like cookies and cream than vanilla? What would your number sentence say? Get it up in your head and reveal. Correct, four minus two equals two. So there was two more people that liked cookies and cream than vanilla. That is how we interpret a picture graph. We can answer questions about that. Okay, so you're gonna be interpreting a picture graph today. You're gonna have to read it, analyze it, and then interpret or answer questions about that picture, picture graph in your homework today. Make sure you check the key first before you get started because you don't want that to um, mess you up and cause you to get all wrong answers. So check your key and then go ahead and start reading the rest of your graph, your picture graph, okay? And best of luck. Email me, message me, do whatever you need if you have questions on your work today. Thanks, guys.